four mystery intergalactic radio signals were detected in the Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia. And they don't really know where these radio signals came from, what they are, they just, they lasted only milliseconds even. They emitted as much energy as the sun emits in 300,000 years, which is a lot. So they're <laughs> trying to figure out what were these radio signals. The really interesting thing about this story is that they actually came from beyond our galaxy. So, so even further, okay. Further, yes. Yeah, so, so these are intergalactic radio bursts, but scientists have no idea where they came from. This isn't the first time that they've seen something like this, but apparently it is very rare. It doesn't appear that it's actually rare in terms of its existence. These radio bursts actually um, have been extrapolated to occur all the time, but these specific measurements are extremely rare only because when you're working with a high-powered telescope like this, it points to a very small portion of the sky at any given time. It collects data over a series of months or years, and then all of that data is analyzed. So, so these researchers here at the Parkes Telescope detected these millisecond bursts between February 2011 and, ooh, February 2011 and January 2012 and have no idea what caused them. So they have a few ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ideas is it's a brand new high energy astrophysical event, which means, I don't know. Yeah, that's and basically what that well, means. They also think it could be colliding neutron stars, mm -hmm. uh, maybe an evaporating black hole or gamma ray bursts in a supernova. We don't, but the thing is they, they kind of just, they don't know. Yeah, they don't all. know. And it seems like the, the issue is that they're so fleeting mm -hmm. that it's very difficult to, to find out that information. But apparently doing calculations on how they traveled through space and, and the resistance of the plasma they had to travel through shows that they actually did occur outside of the Milky Way and possibly outside of our closest neighboring galaxies. These are intergalactic signals, which is pretty crazy. I mean, that's really a high powered um, data collection there. And it's telling us things that we probably couldn't really measure that appropriately previously. So is it just something that we are just supposed to accept as an unknown, crazy, strong, powerful thing that's far away? It's, it's, it's really interesting because <laughs> it's, it's, it kind of shows our, our limits of knowledge oh, on, completely. on events in the outside our galaxy. Yeah, I mean, there's only, we only have so many tools. We have many, many tools, but they're mm -hmm. very specific tools that tell us very specific things. Now, being kind of driven towards or being pointed towards a phenomenon like this, now that scientists know what they're looking for, perhaps they'll be able to comb kind of these regions of space and find more evidence of these phenomena and maybe learn more about them. But when, when we're talking about only four events over the course of yeah. the year, um, yeah, sure, it's very difficult to know where they came from or what they are. Well, it seems like it's hard to collect this data too if we're only combing a small amount uh, at a time. Mm -hmm. And it just, it takes like months, maybe even a year to get it. And is this something that is gonna take a very, very, very long time to figure out? what the hell it is? Probably. We probably actually won't know what these specific things were. We may be able to figure out what future events are, mm -hmm. and, then, and then that would give us some information about this event. All right. Well, mystery huge things in space far <laughs> away, very powerful. We don't know what they are. Great thing about science. More <laughs> questions than answers. <laughs>